So here in Bohol, we decided to stay at Azul de Panglao. It's a boutique hotel, a very nice place. Uh, the facilities are well kept and um, the rooms are very nice. The beds are very comfy. We have very good sleep in here. The staff are very, very friendly, very accommodating. They're very hospitable. Um, and so our, our stay here is really very pleasant. So you can see here behind me, there's also a pool. And then you can see some rooms here in the ground floor. You can also rent some motorcycles in here if you want to go around the island. There's a lobby in here, very nicely kept. The interior design here um, is tropical, it's like Bali vibes. It's really very nice here. And the owner is very friendly as well. So you might as well consider going here when you stay and decide to explore the island of Bohol. See? It's comfy. This is day four of our Bohol trip and we're here having breakfast. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, first time for us to wake up late. We've been waking up at 5.30 and 6 a.m. the past few days, but today is just a chill day. And we're going to Hinagdanan Cave, because Daddy wants, and Sophie and David. How about you, Monique? We're going to a cave. We're gonna okay. hike. We're gonna hike in a cave. You want that, Kuya? Yes. Oh, no. I'm telling you now. Relax, okay? We'll be together. And then uh, we will head out to South Palms Beach to chill. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're gonna go sardine run today. Excited for that one. So this is the entrance to Hinagdanan Cave. You pay 50 pesos per head. And 75 if you want to swim inside. We paid for six. Monique is free. So, you excited for the cave? Yeah. Sophie wants to go to the cave. It's Hinagdanan Cave and Bath Resort. So, you have to register how many is going in. Kasi baka may iwan yung isa sa loob. Lagi ko na lang kung ilan yun. Apo. First time niya dito, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, so meron sa samang guide sa loob. Ma'am Hasha, yung magpiticture sa inyo, mag-explain, mag-assist. Yung guide pala natin, ma'am, volunteer lang siya. So, kaya na lang po yung bahala sa kanya. Okay, Pero yung mga bata, ma'am. Tagalog yung mga bata. English. Pero okay lang siya. Ah, sino yung English, ma'am? Ah, bebe, don't talk too much, ha? <laughs> The girl cannot reply. <laughs> I have only one minute unlimited English. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, don't talk so much. Like... Okay. One way, one way, Kuya. Hmm? Palabas si Martin kahapon pa nga. Hola po, hola. Kahapon pa doon na sa'yo. If you want, I'll take a picture all of you there, sir. Ma'am. Sige, sige. Yeah, evidence that we're in a cave back in the 70s. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The Hilagdanan Cave. It's very popular here in uh, Bohol. You can find this in Barangay uh, Deus, if I'm not mistaken. Um, also, Shal Deus. Deus or uh, Deus. Deus. I Deus. So you can find it in Barangay Deus. Deus. 
In Panglao Bohol, uh, what's what's wonderful about this is that it's naturally made. So when you go inside, you will find uh, stalactites and stalagmites. You will see also na it's very uh, majestic in a way because um, there are natural holes that light up the place. I mean, there's holes that naturally light up the place. So ganun siya. And then there's water under as well, which is uh, what they call brackish water. It's a combination of fresh water and um, sea water. What we learned also, yung history ng Hinagdanan Cave, is that uh, there was a farmer that's trying to um, flatten his land and then he found a hole. And then when he found the hole, uh, he just dropped a stone into that hole and uh, heard a, the splash of water. So when he looked down, he found that uh, there's actually like a cave uh, under it. So ginawa nila, gumawa na lang sila, gumawa na lang sila ng hagdan pababa. That's why it's called Hinagdanan Cave. So yeah, I mean the entrance here is just 50 pesos, free for kids, uh, 10 minute, you know, 10 minute, uh, it, it will take you 10 minutes to see an actual wonder. So yeah, not bad to visit. So we're gonna go swimming with the sardine. So what do you have on? Life jacket and then we have four clothes. And life jacket and then David got fins. He's so desperate. So desperate for a bit. Are you excited? What are you gonna do? David, leave your hat. David, where are you now? Oh, careful. I'm gonna put my slippers here. Okay, they said. You can put your slippers there first. This is the dive area. And we're gonna go sardine run in this area. Nice. Look at that. There's different resorts here. You can go down from those stairs or the other cliff. And we're going down from this cliff right here. <laughs> There's Nikki. She's gonna stay there first. Hi, what are you doing? Uh, we're gonna do the sardine run here in Bohol. Uh, just came from the cave. Now we're gonna go to the sea. And excited much? Yeah, we're excited. We're expecting to see hundreds, if not thousands, of sardines be surrounded by a sardine wall. So exciting! Always a time for first. Who's nervous here? Come on, be honest. <laughs> okay. Here goes, we're gonna wear our goggles so we can see some of the sardines in this beautiful sea.
5 minutes has it been? Mom! Daddy! So, I just went out of the water, uh, just finished swimming with the sardines and checking out some fish. And Mudik is here, chatting them first. You can see them all the way there, below, by the cliff. It's there, by the cliff. <laughs> anyway, so I just finished um, swimming with the sardines. It's such an awesome experience, like you see, Sardines creating walls and shape shifting, um, moving so fast. It's just really wonderful. It's just truly an amazing experience that you should try. It comes out to about 900 per person with all the gears. It's really nice, and I can hear them shouting right now because there was a sea snake also in that <laughs> cliff. And they're are you panicking right now? <laughs> There's a sea snake. And everything's happening here. They're panicking right now. And there they are behind me. <laughs> They're enjoying, but I think they saw a sea snake. But again, nonetheless, it's such a wonderful experience to be here for that fee. Uh, you should really try it. Hi, guys! Mudik is here trying to take some pictures. You might fall, baby. Sending to her friends who are chatting right now. Yeah, mom. What did you do while waiting? Um, I was just chatting my friends. And playing Toka Life World. Yeah. You're such a trooper waiting for everyone. In a bit, we're gonna head out to the beach, right? And chill. Bye, Peter. See you if you're watching. I'm chatting your brother right now. <laughs> What's the best part about Mahal so far? I feel like I like the hotel and the pool. <laughs> Not the beaches. No, because like I kept on getting sunlight like thing and then like sea creatures kept on biting me in the beach. Oh my gosh, okay. So that was a really fun experience swimming with the sardines. Um, there's a lot of sardines in there like wall to wall changing shapes swimming so fast they're not even afraid of you and by the way swimming with the sardines is totally harmless unless you see some sea snakes like what you know uh, other members of the family have seen so far um but good thing there's guides in here like people can guide you divers uh, they're complete with gears as well so you don't have to worry about um not knowing what to do in here they're very friendly it's really truly worth the trip to see here in bohol you should try it. Sophie, how was their experience with the sardine it run? It was good, but I got stung. We all got stung by jellyfish. <laughs> but what did you see under? Sardines. And what else? Sea snake. Oh my. Um, and there was like many things of other fish. Is that something that you'll do again? Sure. I guess.
Alright, so after a morning of doing a swimming with the sardines, we're here right now in South Palms. We chanced upon this the other day when one of our friends invited us here and it's a real beauty. I must say when you're in Bohol, it's a must to come over here in South Palms. You just order probably a drink and you can have access to their beach. Say that you're in for the day tour. And uh, it's a very, very beautiful beach. We're having lunch now, a little bit of lunch, a little bit of pika-pika uh, after that hour of swimming with the sardines. So when you're here in Bohol, especially in Panglao Island, enjoy the beach in South Palms. It's worth it. <laughs> From the islands to the big city, join us as Team Diarmas takes a big bite off of the Big Apple.